Good evening, and welcome back to Mega Factory Titan, where last episode we built this lovely little production chain going on here. We have sandstone coming in from our miner. The sandstone is being turned into concrete. The concrete has been turned into building frames, and the building frames are being stored here to be sold in a moment. Now, this is not running very quickly at all. It's running quite slowly, in fact, and that is because this requires two concrete every 1.2 seconds. And this makes one concrete every 3.8 seconds. Very, very recent. So we want to speed this up. And to do that, we want to build more smelters. That's going to be the best way to do it. So let's let's do that. Let's grab some more smelters. Boom. 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 Like that. It will get power from the underground cables. Nice and easy. And we can connect up all the belts. Exactly the way you think. There we are. And the belts are smart enough to know what they're doing. So they're, they're all intelligent enough to, when there's a split, it knows where it's going because of how the system works. If this was requiring a different item, um, which I think I can do, let's say, let's make it water just for a moment. Okay. Um, then this will change color to match the water if we had something in here. And this would automatically send out on the same belt, one item to here, and one item to here because that's what the belts do. The belts only send a single item that's required. So uh, it would send water ice. So it's it's smart enough to figure that out all the time. But we want to set them all to concrete. And it's going to automatically link them all together because it knows this has concrete. It wasn't colouring them because it doesn't have, have um the water ice in there. If it did it would colour them to say that's working. So it's a it's a very smart system. They're they're not conveyor belts they are tubes i don't know if you can you can just about make it out there see they are actually tubes so they're not conveyor belts per se but yeah so now we need to connect this one up to here there we go and then we need to connect these ones up over there as well and i'm not sure how you raise belts i'm not sure if it's a thing you can even do i don't, I don't know can you just this ah okay it does it automatically okay all right whoa, wrong button wrong button okay so we can't have hmm. okay we can't have uh a belt come out of two places at once. Um, I want to demolish. I don't want to demolish that entire run. So let's do this. Go to demolish and then click that. There. there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. A little bit weird. That. That is. It looks a little weird to me. Um, but apparently it works. Okay, but that's gonna work, and we're gonna get four every 3.8 seconds, um, and we need two every 1.2 seconds. So we're still not, we're still not there. So we're gonna get two every, uh, what's half 3.8? Uh, two every two seconds almost. So it's not quite there, but it is faster. It is definitely faster. However, power is a big problem here. So if I click on this here, uh, we need nine megawatts, and we're generating zero right now. This will generate 10 um, in total. Uh, so, yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna start dropping down because pollution is a thing. But pollution's clearing overnight because it's not running overnight. So, so how do we fix this? Well, we could put in some wind turbines in places. Uh, wind does seem to be blowing, which uh, not be a surprise. To be honest, I uh, would expect that to happen. So, I'm thinking we might do that. I think we might just put in some wind turbines along here to try and get some stuff going at night as well. Although, I am kind of just tempted to just... We'll deal with some. I think we'll deal with solar panels. We got... Um, bomb. There you go. So it is now dawn. The sun is coming up. Night times aren't very long on, on the Titan, so... Uh, that's awesome. We have another incoming call. Oh, what's this? What's this? Good day. We'd like to buy 25 mineral wood. For 1,375 bits. Uh, finish with 35 minutes for a bonus. Okay. What bonus are you going to give us? A thermo-radioactive farm. 
Now we can click, rather than clicking the output, we can click on the info to bring up what this does. Um, and it generates 15 megawatts of power. Uh, efficiency decreases, ambient heat increases. Costs 14 a day. Ah, okay, so that's... Ooh, okay, so that would work at night. I think we're going to go for that. It's another power generation. We, yeah, rather than the money, we're going to go for that. Oh, okay, thank you very much. But of course, we can't do that. We don't know what mineral wood is. Not a clue. And a new tutorial has popped up here saying, Hey, your next trade request involves a technology you haven't researched. Before you can make it at the factory, you need to research it. You can rent research labs to do so. Awesome. That's unlocked already. However, we're going to leave that for a moment. And we're going to concentrate on this one here. So, you can manufacture the needed resources by giving your factories what they need. Power, input, resources. If it takes you a long time, more smelters. Well, we added more smelters. Here they are. Here are all the smelters. Zoom. And, uh, yep, the concrete goes up and over. It looks a bit weird. Not going to lie looks a little weird, kind of feel like they should, there should be a bridge that's not one tile, um, or they should be able to cross each other because I don't see why they wouldn't be able to, if they're smart enough to know what they're doing, but no, nah. but it works, it just looks a bit weird. Okay, and then you're obviously getting the concrete in, which is fantastic, and you've got 40 concrete in here now, okay, and you've got there. Now, the the way the system works, the power system works, is that as the power drops, buildings only get the power they need to run if they're a lower... Well, if they're a higher priority, they get the buildings. If they're a higher priority for power, they get the power anyway. But what was happening here was this was dropping because it requires 5 megawatts to run. And when the power dropped below 5 megawatts, this wasn't getting any power. But these ones still worked, they only required 1 megawatts. So we were actually producing things at dusk and dawn so that's why our concrete has gone up anyway, and uh, this is now running it should run out um, technically because this is requiring two of a go um, well, this is requiring uh, so it's, it's actually filling up which is interesting and that's that's probably due to delay the, the the distance from this storehouse to the smelters is much shorter than the distance to the um, from here to there so, because this delay is longer, this takes longer to process. So, um, it's not 1.2 seconds, it's actually longer than that because of the process time. So, it stops, it finishes, you wait for it to come along here, it takes about 2 seconds, go and... Transport is an interesting concept in this game. It's it's very different to any other building game that I've ever done. I suppose if I use the other pipes, the push maglevs, then... It would work. You can turn them off as well. I'm not sure what happens if you turn them off. Oh no, if you turn them off with blocks on them, they, they do, they stop, they don't finish their load. So let's try the push maglev here and try and get this processing a lot quicker, shall we? Let's give that a go. So, what I want to do is, we want to demolish this one, demolish area, our uh, area allows us to, uh, you can click on and click again to demolish an area. Um, relocate, relocate group, duplicate group, duplicate settings, and upgrade group. Aha! So if I click this and then that, convert um, convert 11 pull maglev to push maglev. That's how you upgrade buildings. Trying to figure that out last time. But let's do that. Boom. Yep. And then let's turn this back on. And now what should happen is this will just constantly feed concrete. Over and over and over. There you go. It's just going to fill the line up with concrete. And that will happen until this fills up. I believe that's how it works. So if I turn this off here, that's going to fill up with concrete. It's filled up with concrete. And then this should stop outputting. Oh, well, mind you, we can't tell because the way the belts work. But, but there we go. So that's how you standard conveyor belt. So the push maglevs are your standard conveyor belt. That's, that's just how you'd expect a conveyor belt to work. The pull maglev are smart conveyor belts that only feed what they need to. I think this setup works pretty well at the moment. Um, I could push the, change this to be a push maglev as well, so there's no delay in the system at all. Um, and the pull maglevs can be fine for the output because um, they always will output into here. So. And this will speed up production. Okay, so now we have enough resources to sell because remember, they want um, 25. So 
what we need to do is deliver it to them. And we can do that via a delivery truck. So let's go. Uh, place a transport truck. Now that you have enough resources to fulfill a trade request, you need to deliver them. You can rent a cargo transport to do the job. And it's becoming dusk again already. Okay, which one that is? That is in transport. And here we are. We have a truck. And we have a cargo speeder as well. So what's the difference between these? This is movement speed is medium, capacity is 50. This is very high and 60. Okay. So I'm going to put one of these down instead because that's our unique vehicle. Uh, what does it cost? Uh, 51 per day. And these cost 24 per day. and so, so we have permission to build these. We don't rent them. Okay, because they don't have a maintenance cost. We're not renting them. We're just building them straight. So what does this cost? This costs 41 and 24, which is going to be 65 a day. And this would only cost 51 a day. So this is cheaper. So let's put down. Right. There. And we're going to say, right click on this, set this pick up point. Right click on this, set this drop off point. And bloop. There we go. Job done. Thanks for the building frame. Enjoy the extra 1,400 empty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm going to close that one there because um, we built the different building. And he's calling again. He's calling again. My friend, we would like to buy 200 wire for 980 empty. Finish in 39 minutes for a boat. Okay, so what do I? Fuel augmentation, stackable storehouse, or a warehouse? Uh, we can ask for a different mission. Um, cancels this mission, or future missions will be the same type for a long time so if you ask for a different mission all future missions will be this type one later on so i think i think we'll just stick with this for a minute and we'll go for the bonus we'll double our money on it well there you go there's no reason why we shouldn't accept that okay so so how are we going to do this well why are we can we can we can cheese we can cheese the wire let me pause the game for a moment we can cheese it because we have this and we can go around and we can look at things so what's this uh, that's our power so there's 10 wire here, 10 wire here, there's 10 wire here. We could cheese the wire? I think we're going to cheese the wire. Begin demolition, off you go. You you take down that and that's fine. Um, right, uh, let's stop this and let's go drop off that. Um, you kind of need to, the, um, the cargo vehicles will pick up a full inventory and then deliver and then sit with the stuff inside them. So you kind of remember to put them back again before the um, the building fills up or you're uh, kind of stuffed on it. But, but okay. So we're going to go and cheese the wire, which is nice. But we need mineral wood as well. Now to do that, we're going to need tutorials. We're going to need tutorials because we need research. So how can we do this? Your next trade will involve the technology you have to We need to research. Okay, so highlight. But don't. And uh, it's like this. The highlight button just goes, hey, there it is. There's the button you need to push. So we push this button and we need to do a research lab. We get a prefabricator. We own one of them already. A research lab. But on. Generates technology, consumes power, generates two pollution, waste heat. Um, costs a lot, 119 per day. Um, and 79 a day maintenance. So the, these are expensive. These are expensive. So we want to put this not sure where uh, kind of thinking uh, oh oh hello oh pause uh hello if you ever need some land at enhanced prices just come to us also if you're going if you're ever going to go bankrupt we offer loans only 10 percent okay uh, the land shark real estate company how nice how nice they are going to land right down here in fact they've already landed right down here wow i oh, know that's 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 them that's them. Okay. They really got a settlement going. Uh, so, there's your trading post. Uh, not sure where they're going to land. Oh, over here. They landed over there. there okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, so let's 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 uh, let's build this research. I'm going to put the research. I don't I don't know what research requires. Does it just require power? Or does it does it require other things? Let's just put it down. And let's see. Boom. Um, so it's not connected to the power grid. That's fine. So we want to do mineral wood. And to research mineral wood, ah, we need 
to give it some of these things. So they require things, different things. Uh, and our automatic cargo drop off. So if I tick that, okay, and then I click on you, and I enable automatic delivery mode. Ba -bom. Um, between storages, deliver between your automated enabled structures. Deliver from your mining vehicles without drop off spots to storage. Ah, so you can have your mining vehicles just mine, and then have those pick up from there. Uh, gather from caches, wrecked and trading posts and deliver to your automatically enabled station. Okay, so if I do that, like that, uh, back on the trade mission, okay. and then we want to power this, so we'll go like so. I don't know if you can run power through buildings. Is that valid? That is valid. Oh, okay, awesome. So you can you can daisy chain through buildings. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, I like that. So as long as this and, and that are all within connection, it all becomes a grid. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like that. Okay, so if we unpause it, this cargo vehicle here, I hope, um, will start moving. We'll start moving down to here. But it's not going to because we don't have any basalt or silica or reprocessed slag. So we're going to need some of that. Now, do we have any basalt nearby? Let's zoom out. Sandstone, sandstone, pyrite. Limestone, limestone. I'm sure, I saw a battle. No, I guess not. I guess not. Okay, we're going to have to go on a little exploration. Uh, let's get ruined there. Let's get that ruined. What else can I use? Silica, which refines from sandstone in a smelter. So we could set that up. And 200 factory found parts to build a factory. Cool. Okay. Pyrite sandstone. More sandstone. Not really a fantastic... Um... Sandstone does, does go down into silica, so we could always do that. We don't want to get just... That is a huge lake. We're not going to buy that land. We're not going to buy that land. That's 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 that is a huge lake. Unless we get something where we can build on land, uh, bi uh, buildings that require water to be built on, we're not going to bother with that. That's um, that's uh, I don't think that's worth buying. Okay, okay. So I suppose what we'll do then is we'll set up another mining operation. Let's do this. So we're going to get another excavator. We're going to get um, another smelter. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the smelter up. Now I want to put it two away. Because remember we need one output and one input. So it's got to be two away from each other. Uh, and we're going to put a push maglev in those two. And then we are going to build a storage. Um, which is going to be a warehouse. We own warehouses so I'm going to build a warehouse. I'm going to put it back there. And we're going to do... Uh, I think we'll do a push map left between these ones as well. Oh. And then you mine mine sandstone drop off. Okay. So you can take silica now. So you need a recipe. You're gonna take silica. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there we go. So we're gonna start researching. It's awesome. Uh, shall we have another exploration? Uh, oh, uh, actually, let's um, you do that. Can you can you drop off? Do you want to do that? No, no. Okay. okay, can't do that. Right, so I need to build another storage. Um, let's put a warehouse down. I'm just going to slap a warehouse down there, and we're going to have this set to auto delivery. Oh, okay. Okay, he... Okay, I, I couldn't manually tell him to do it. Uh, but he then chose to automatically go and put off... Put his uh, wares in there. So we've sold 10. Cool. Okay. So begin demolish, demolition. There's no auto demolition mode. I can't tell it to... Uh, but he, he's just going to demolish... Demolition? Demolish things. 
and then he'll drop the wire off in there by the of it and um, other stuff in there which is interesting uh, yeah he's gonna do it automatically that's cool I don't think that's intended I don't think he's just supposed to be able to do that no he, okay he's not gonna do it properly this time right Okay, so we put the wire in there instead. Okay, so pick up. Oh, uh, well, you just pick up everything. That's not really what I wanted. Drop off. Drop off. Excellent, thank you very much. Sweet. Uh, drop off. Okay. And he has another, another tray. They, they, they just carry on. They just carry on. Like that. So we'll uh, we'd like to buy 20 wire from you. He'll give us a smelter, magnetite. Or, well, okay, we'll do that. So we could we could basically set up a trade system here. Now, open this faction store. They've also got things that you can sell and buy and do things. So accepted deliveries, we're gonna accept wire. Um, and he will take uh, trophies as well. So that's fine. And we can pay off our loan here as well. This is where we pay off loan. So we pay 4,200 in 10 installments. We can click the button to pay off some of that. I'm not gonna do that yet because we're not really making enough money to do that. Um, I'm not really sure about these building frames. Do we, do we need building frames for things? I'm not sure I should be storing so many of them. But maybe we should set up a wire thing, I don't know. Okay. What is happening? Power. Power we're struggling for power. We're struggling for power. Which is to be expected. To be expected. Let's put in another solar farm. Put it in there and we're producing a lot of pollution in that area there so this is not ideal for it actually so let's put it down here oh, more pollution there as well oh dear oh dear uh okay let's just put it there for a minute Boom, there you go. okay so what else could we do here what else could we do here let's 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 pause for a moment can we make wire over here um, how do we make wire? Do we even know how to make wire? I'm not sure. Let's see here. So let's click on the wire. And it's made in a factory from aluminium, copper, or tungsten. The factory has it here. So let's. Um, I don't know whether we need building frames to build things. I don't think you do. Everything seems to cost money. So it's just trading for that. So I'm kind of tempted to switch this over to be something else. But if, if we do that, we're going to have trouble. Because um, to make building frames, we're going to need to... Uh, we're going to need to get copper and we're not making copper here how do you make copper how do you make copper let's have a look here so we've got so aluminium which is made from bauxite copper which is made from chalco pyrite which i know says chal copyright but um chalco pyrite yep um charcoal or malachite and tungsten is made from all frame or she light so we can make it from, from from the copyright stuff which is here we do have it here maybe we should do that maybe we should do that let's let's um stop your mining okay go and drop off your goods okay. and then this will this will wear out and this will eventually fill this up with a Everything. It's going to fill up way earlier than expected, to be honest with you. But um, I don't know if I want to demolish the radar or not. Let's, let's demolish Not that one. Instead. But I'm wondering if we can set up a trade route. Embark on a trade mission. So if I say 20 greater wire. Okay.
what are you going to do? Are you going to automatically pick up the 20? And you know it's available? Are you going to automatically find things? This is set to auto vehicle drop off. Mine drop off and cargo pick. There we go. Okay, so it sets cargo pickup so you can automatically pick up the cargo. Okay. Thanks for the while. Enjoy the extra money. Awesome. Kingdom this one. Another trade one. We like to buy 20 piping. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so this is different. This is different. So we're gonna we, we're gonna get to piping now. So so you kinda need to set up your buildings to build everything. If that makes sense? Um because you never know what they're gonna trade. What I'm hoping for is that there is an actual trade system so that I can go, hey, um rather than this. You know, rather than I'm, I'm just doing deliveries for you, can I actually just go? Hey, we've got this for sale. Can you come and buy it? Which I hope's what we get in the future. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's kind of the, the purpose. So, so okay. So now we need to do piping, which means we need to build another array of things and another bit to end. And right, let's get a mirror wood first, shall we? Let's get a mirror first. It is. It's dawn. We are doing things. Everything is awesome. Um, you do, in fact, drop off in here after you've um, salvaged whatever you want to salvage just wish this had an auto button go around and salvage anything even if it only did it inside our territory you know um or i could queue them and say hey would you salvage all of these uh, maybe it does in the future who knows who knows um okay so you are currently need four but you're not producing that many okay that's fine that's fine Another day has gone by, but on we've 301. We are making money. We are making money. I do return rental. Mineral wood technology has been researched. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what else can we do here? Um, we can research wire and piping. Well, let's do piping. And um, let's pause again for a moment. And this this is one where I think this is where your logistic vehicles come into it. So rather than having this sort of setup where we are smelting and then directly inputting into a research lab what we should do instead is have all of our smelters putting into storages and then have the storages set to auto deliver and then have a cargo vehicle go hey we're going to take from this storage to put in here and this storage to put in here blah, blah. that's the way it should be done not the way i'm doing it here but i didn't know that i, I thought all research might be the same principles but it's not it's not it's going to require aluminum copper Aluminium? It's spelt with an I. Oh, it's spelt correctly. It's spelt with an I. We've had this debate many times, but um, uh, aluminium. I'm British. Aluminium. I just say aluminium by default because most games don't spell it with the I. Um, but it requires copper, and copper is something we can do, and we're going to do copper here, I think. We're going to change this up. This is going to start making copper. And then we'll see how things go and how things progress. And Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Okay. So, now we have uh, mineral wood. Let's see what we need to make mineral wood. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's made in the factory. Uh, let's build another factory. And we'll do mineral wood. And this requires basalt, silica, or reprocessed slag. Well, conveniently, we have silica right here. So, let's relocate you to here. Let's destroy that maglev. Let's put in a new maglev here. And let's have you do that. And we're going to say... Uh, transport guy, can you pick up from here? Yes, you can. Pick up. And uh, this one down here, isn't it? Drop off. Okay. And then we'll unpause again. And uh, he will start producing this silica, will come into here, silica will become uh, mineral wood. Don't know how that works. And then when the mineral wood has been made, you will spring into life. Here it comes. Zoom. And he'll pick up from there. Boop. And he'll deliver down there. And we'll get the mineral wood processing done soon. Only going to deliver one at a time, but okay. So, 
we shall leave this one here we shall come back next time and we shall continue with the factory i am quite enjoying this i do hope you are as well um this is this is a very different take on how the game works i love it it's very nice to have a different a different flavor every now and then so um yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one until then as always have fun